Okay guys, today we are going to take apart this steering shaft from a 1974 John Deere 112. Um, this would be the same steering shaft as any late 100 series. Well, actually I think any Square Fender 100 series and all 200 series all had the same gearbox and potentially round fenders, I'm not sure. I know the 1 and 200 series had the same one. So, let's get started. First of all, um, I have had this part already. I was looking to see if I could get any good parts out of it. Because I badly need to do the one in my 214. So, um, this pin would be in the other way. It would come through this way. But to start, you got to take this pin out. Then, um, like I said, I've already hit it apart. These two nuts will be locked together. So it'll take some pretty good force. And they're either inch and an eighth or inch and a sixteenth. I did not use uh, real wrenches. I just used adjustable hammers to get them. So you'll take both of those off. Then there is a little washer. Then, this slides right out. That should have a gasket in it. My gasket is right here. But this just pretty much sits on this piece. It should probably stay stuck in the other one, but that's okay. Then, you take, and to start, you're going to have to bang it loose with a screwdriver and a hammer, like so. Did it go, or did I come off? Come on now, Bubba. I promise I did just have this apart. Okay, maybe. Give me a minute, guys. All right, I broke it loose. And all these notches are just for the pin to be in different adjustments. And that's that. Then you just push that up out. There you go. That's how you take it apart. Um, there's this bearing here, which this case is the other half of. And then there's another bearing right in here. Which y'all may or may not be able to see. See, there's two of the balls. And it won't focus, that's okay. When, if your steering shaft is skipping, loosen this nut and screw this in. This is what the teeth on the worm gear grab hold of to turn and pivot. So if you tighten this in, it'll tighten it up against the worm gear more and you'll be back in the gears a little. I'm assuming that's probably replaceable. So uh, if you do take it apart, what I'm gonna do, I won't do it on this one. Well, I might do it on this one, is uh, flush everything out uh, clean everything up good. Um, this grease fitting appears to just press in. I tried to screw it out and um, does not want to move. So, you know. I guess it's just you turn it where you want it. So, 
Unless it's stripped out, I don't know. Mine probably stripped out because I think it should screw in because you can see the hex head on it. Um, let's see here. Uh, this bearing just sits on there. So that's how you take the steering shaft apart. As you see, mine is cut off. Here's another part of it. Uh, this is the one that came out of that 1974 that I did not do a video on replacing. Uh, this is the one that fell and broke. Well, didn't break. It bent. Um, as you see, that's not straight. So, I just went ahead and cut it back off the bottom there with the sawzall and started working on it. But, I figured I would do a video on how to do that, since a lot of you guys probably do not know how and um, your shit's loose. So, I mean, actually for a loose steering shaft, or a loose steering, you might screw this in too, I'm not sure. That might take care of your play in your steering, but I don't know. I'll be having to try that on the 216, and I'll let you guys know in another video. So, I guess I will go ahead and put this back together and show you how to do that, I guess. You just set this down in, and you see it doesn't want to go down anymore. Well... Uh, you have to line it up down here with the bearing. And then last time what I did is just tap it a couple times and down she goes. Then you just take this cap, screw it right back on. line up one of those with your hole and your case and obviously I'm putting mine through backwards but stick that in and it should be screwed down in more quite obviously because this is very uh, not wanting to do what it's supposed to but that's how you do that uh, thanks for watching guys oh never mind this you just set that in there. Come on, sit in your spot. And like I said, this is not a steering shaft that I need for anything. It's not one that I'm rebuilding. It's just one out of a tractor. That The steering shaft is junk because I don't know how this probably just presses in. That's the tube for the shaft. So I mean I could fix it if I wanted. Put the washer on. And you don't want to tighten this all the way up. That could be another reason for stiff steering. Because all this does is hold this piece into this case. So you just want to... Put some pressure against this over here and snug this down about finger tight you see that doesn't move back and forth no play in the gearbox then you put your gm nut on you take your either wrench or your big adjustable hammer whatever you're using tighten her down there you go. That's how you do one of these gearboxes. I figured I'd probably want to make a video on that because I'm sure, like me, other people 
want to fix their gearbox in their 200 series or 100 series because it's loose um, and just don't know how to do it. So uh, that's how you do it, guys. Um, let me know what you find on this grease fitting. Also, let me know what you find on getting that out. I think it probably will press in and out. Um, that was the first time I did it. I just taught myself, well, about 20 minutes ago now, how to do it. Uh, what I do is I take a part like this that's not usable yet, or at all, since I cut this off, and I just start taking things apart, and that's how I learn, and that's how I'm able to bring content to you guys. So, if you guys find anything else that I don't know, like if this grease fitting is supposed to be like this, or if it's just stripped, mine's probably just stripped, and this, um, also if you guys know something that I don't already, uh, leave me a comment down below. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.